Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will discuss week 10 quiz answer for joy of computing using Python. So in question number 1, which of the following statement is correct about Python's dynamic typing? So the correct answer is a variable's type can change at runtime. So you can check from this screenshot taken from Geeks or Geeks. Python is a dynamically typed language. It does not know about the type of variable until the code is run. So the data type does not matter as it will get to know the type of value at runtime. So you can select option B as an answer for question number one. Going to question number two, what will be the output of the following code? So you can see the code, code is pasted here and if we run this code, you will see output like this. So it is matching with option C. So mark option C as an answer for question number two. For question number three, I have again copied the code and you can see the output is coming as nine. So mark nine as an answer for question number three. Coming to question number four, which is statement about find an index in Python is true. So let me first make something clear about find an index. Index is used to find an element in a list, whereas find is used to find a character in a string. Okay. So, so if you can see this code, I am trying to find get one inside this list as it is not present. So it will give a value error in case of index. You can see we are getting value error in case of index if it is not present. And find is used to find character in string. So I am trying to find get2 inside this get python code and it will return minus 1. So these conditions are matching with option B. So mark option B as an answer for question number 4. Going to question number 5, what will be the output of this code? So you can see output is 3, minus 3. So mark minus 3 as an answer for question number 5. Going to question number 6, which method in PIL is used to resize an image while maintaining the expect ratio so you can see uh, it is using thumbnail as you can see from the screenshot use thumbnail in pillow instead of resize to maintain the image original expect ratio so mark thumbnail as an answer for question number six and before going to question number seven all answers shown here is correct according to me but then also if there is any change in answer, I will inform you in telegram channel or in this youtube channel community tab or in this video description as I did earlier. So make sure to check the final answer on the last submission date. And in question number 7, which of the following correctly finds the number divisible by 3 not by 5 in a list. So if you just run this code as you, I, I have already executed in my right hand side then you will see. This first option will return all the numbers divisible by 3, not by 5. So mark option A as an answer for question number 7. Going to question number 8, what will be the output of this code? So you can see I have executed this code and output is coming as 5. So mark 5 as an answer for question number 8. Going to question number 9, you can see this white area is given there. So you, you just have to fill this white area x is equal to with this any of these options so that it will give output as 5 7 and 9 okay so i just filled this axis equal to empty area with 0 as given in option a and output is coming as 5 7 9 as said in the question so mark 0 as an answer for question number 9 and if you want any tips for your final center exam then you can see this video it is very helpful video it will be it will help you to prepare for your final center exam. Link will be given in this video description. Going to question number 10, what will, this, will be the shape of resulting numpy array? So I just copied this code and after executing you can find the shape is coming as 3 comma 2. So mark 3 comma 2 as an answer for question number 10. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.